Hi, my name is Zach from IT and Computer Services. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to join an Ubuntu 9.1 uh, Linux client to a Windows 2008 Small Business Server Active Directory environment, although it should work with any Active Directory, and it should work with any Linux client that supports the Likewise software. So just as a prerequisite for this tutorial, there's a few things we need to be able to accomplish. Uh, to check for these, we're going to go into Applications, Accessories, and open up a terminal window. So up here we have our server information. And what we need to do is make sure we can ping our server by name. So simply ping server. And we're receiving information, which is good. We need to be able to ping the server by IP address, which is good. And we're receiving stuff. And finally, we need to ping the server by the fully qualified domain name. So that would be server.dirtandgas.local. And this is where we run into problems. So it says unknown host. So what this means is it can't resolve the DNS. Um, to get around this, we've got a quick fix. So in your terminal window, you're going to need to go gk sudo gedit and this will just open up a gedit window with sudo privileges forward slash etc forward slash nsswitch.conf So what that's going to do is open up the ns switch file enter your root password So in this file we've got this here line Posts. Now this is the line that caused us problems, so what we're going to do is simply copy this line, comment it out, paste it, and we need to remove this here chunk, mdns4 underscore minimal not found equals return. Then we'll save the file. close our gedit window. We can try pinging the server again and now it resolves. If it doesn't you can edit another file which is the host file so again gk sudo gedit forward slash etc forward slash hosts. What you might need to do is come into this host file add a new entry for your server so first we need the IP address then we're going to need the fully qualified domain name of the server. So for us, it's server.dirtandgas.local. And then we can go ahead and save the file. And that's if it didn't, for some reason, ping through before. So now that we can reach our host, we can go ahead and install the Likewise software. You can get it from the Likewise website online. Uh, you're looking for likewise open if you google it you should find it with no problem but for this purposes it's a lot easier just to go into our synaptic package manager and download it from there so the package we're going to be looking for is likewise open so simply do a search for likewise then we can go ahead and click likewise open GUI and mark for installation this is also going to install its dependencies and go ahead and click apply and apply so now that that's installed we can close the package manager although if halfway through the installation a message popped up about Kerberos uh, what we did was simply enter our fully qualified domain name in both fields so that would have been server.dirtandgas.local obviously substitute in your server so this is what we entered in both fields and it completed successfully. So you can go ahead and close your package manager and then we can go system, administration, active directory membership. So we type in our domain. So in this case it's dirtandgas.local and that would be this one here. We can go ahead and hit join domain 
Now we need to type in the name of a username. And this is an Active Directory user with the privilege to join accounts to the domain. So it's just user, password, and it succeeded. Go ahead and close this and close. Now if you got a message when it succeeded that it was unable to resolve the DC, uh, go back and check that it can ping the fully qualified domain name from a terminal window because if you can't do that it's most likely that it's going to fail and then you need to go and do the uh, host modification and the NS switch modification that we showed you earlier in this video. But otherwise you've successfully joined the domain so you can simply reboot your computer and you should be able to use a domain login. So now that the computer is rebooted, go down to other for your domain login using Active Directory. Now for your username you need to start off with your short domain name. So for instance our fully qualified domain name was server.dirtandgas.local So what we need to do is for the short domain name cut out the server and cut out the end and then just simply put a backslash and the username now if you're doing this from command line you need to do a double backslash uh, the first one escapes the second one but for the GUI logins you can just use a single backslash and then username login password And now you should successfully log in using your Active Directory credentials on your Linux machine.